Now that we are in Goa, let's make another typical Goan dish. But again, for my vegetarian friends. So let's make cauliflower or gobi shakuti. What's it? Let's get started. So for cauliflower or gobi shakuti, we require 250 grams of cauliflower florets, 80 grams of fresh grated coconut, one medium sized onion thinly sliced, one tomato roughly chopped. You also require a teaspoon of fennel, half a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of poppy seeds, a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, a tablespoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. You also require a tamarind paste. If you don't have tamarind paste, you can take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You also need 60 ml or 60 grams of ghee or clarified butter for cooking and some chopped coriander for garnish. Now on in a hot non-stick pan, on medium flame, I'm going to add our coriander seeds and I'm going to dry roast them for around 30 seconds. Now coriander seeds take a little longer, so I've added them first. Now after 30 seconds, I'm going to add in our fennel, cumin and poppy seeds and roast them for another 30 seconds. You just want to lightly roast them. Now take them out in a plate and let them cool. Now in the same pan, I'm going to add our grated coconut and again I'm going to dry roast it till it's little golden in color. Keep the flame medium. Now it's taken me around 5 minutes on medium flame to roast the coconut. You can see the light golden color. Now at this stage I am going to lower the flame and add in our turmeric and mix it well. Now in the same plate I am going to take out the roasted coconut and I am going to let this cool as well. Now in the same pan I'm going to take around a teaspoon of ghee from our 60 grams and to this on a little high flame I'm going to add our chopped onions and again I'm going to saute it till they are a little golden brown. After 4 to 5 minutes our onions have turned golden. You don't want them to burn so at this stage we'll just switch off the flame and take them out in the same mixture that we had roasted of the coconut and spices. Now I'm going to let this entire mixture cool for around 5 to 10 minutes and then I'm going to grind it into a coarse paste along with the tomatoes. And this is how our shakuti masala looks. I've made a coarse paste and I've added around half cup of water to it while making the paste. Now in a non-stick pan, I'm going to add our remaining ghee. And on medium flame, once the ghee melts, I'm going to add our Kashmiri red chilli powder because chilli bleeds the best in oil or fat. So you can see the lovely red color. Now I'm going to add our ginger garlic paste. Mix well and then add in our garam masala powder, our pink Himalayan salt and mix it well. 
Now to this, I'm going to add our shakuti masala paste that we have made. And I'm going to cook it for around 4 to 5 minutes. Keep stirring the masala on high flame so that it does not burn. Okay. As you can see, it started to leave ghee on the sides of the pan. And after 4 minutes, now I am going to add our tamarind paste or tamarind pulp. And now I am going to add our cauliflower florets. I am not going to add any water. Mix it well. Now I am going to cover this and cook on low flame for around 10 to 12 minutes. And this is how our gobi shakuti looks like. I've plated it, drizzled with some grated coconut if you like and some chopped coriander. Enjoy! If you have liked the recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And for more such recipes, please subscribe to my channel and share the joy of cooking.